I wanted to show you how I collect wildflower seeds from the garden. While everything's drying out and kind of dying because of the frost we've had, I wanted to show you the beauty that comes with things dying and the rebirth story. This is butterfly weed and here are the seedlings that pop out of these little pods. They're really, really cool and feathery look to them. They're really pretty. So I'm gonna collect the whole part right now and then eventually take off the seed, which is right there. these really pretty purple cosmos so I'll just collect some of these as well so the black the black little pod looking things are the seeds and if you're unsure where the seeds are just kind of poke around and feel through. Um, it's usually where the flower was. So like this is common, blue common flax. So the little tiny little seeds were in this little ball. And it looks like you just open it, you just press on it to open it up. And yeah, so these ones are very small. You can see that. At this point, putting them all in here. And then hopefully I can plant these again and they will flourish. Look how many seeds come in one little pod. If you don't want to keep on buying new wildflower seeds, I would recommend to just harvest your wildflower seeds, the ones that you already have. Of course, if you want a variety or different seeds, then by all means, go for it and buy new seed packets. I didn't have any wildflowers here on my property, so I definitely bought a lot of seeds to begin with, but now that I'm seeing the return on investment, I will definitely continue collecting these seeds and replanting them for my gardens. Here's a before and after. The clip on the right is two years ago and the left is today, November 6th, 2023. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Share with your friends if they are interested in saving their seeds for next spring. And 